Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're heading off for another of the three World Circuit races that were released in the current 1.46 release that came out today. In this one we're going to heading over to America but before we do that I'm just going to go up and check that we are on the race difficulty hard which we are so we're all good. That is a difficulty that we're using all of the time now and then we're going to be heading off to Trial Mountain for this one. This new race is the FR American Challenge 550. It's to celebrate uh, the new car that has been released, the new American muscle car. Uh, but we're not actually going to be running with that one today. I'm going to be picking a slightly different car. The car that I'm going to use is the Dodge Viper GTS 2002. I've got the sports medium tires on it. And whilst we can run, if I just come back to change car, you can run with some extreme cars. Bearing in mind the recommended is 550pp, you could run with the Challenger SRT Demon at six or 700pp, the wonderful Camaro ZL1 at 681pp, and those cars will absolutely monster it. But I'm going for the Viper GTS on the sports medium tires and with the ballast set to 200 and the power restrictor set to 100 to bring that P, the, the PP just a little bit closer to where we need it. 556.88, slightly over, but close enough for me. Otherwise, this car is completely stock. So just ballast to 200, power restrictor of 100, the sports medium tires on this one. Let's get into the race and see how we do. This is the American FR Challenge 550 Trial Mountain Circuit in reverse. We've got three laps to get to the front. It's a track that I'm not used to going this way round. I know it the other way, but not in reverse. So let's see how we go. So we've got the traction control set to one. I haven't got any brake balance on here. There's no fuel map to worry about. There's no pit strategy, it's just a case of going for it. Into the first corner, I'm braking when the crane reaches the top of the mirror, or the bottom of the mirror, I should say, uh, but that will be incorrect for the rest of the races because we're going to be entering that corner a lot quicker, or approaching that corner a lot quicker than we would normally. As we go over this little rise, I'm going to brake just leaving it in third gear there. Tend to find if you get it down at the second, it will help you to slow down, but you're gonna to have to do that in a straight line. Also try and make sure that you're braking in a straight line and try not to brake through the corners if you can help it because the uh, back end will come round. Likewise, if you try and accelerate too quickly, that back end will try and come round and bite you. Braking at the white line there, just leaving it in third gear going a bit of a tighter line than normal as we overtake that car. So we've got the Viper, we've got the car behind, we're going to overtake the Mustang there. Great little car to do this one in. And as I said, if you just want to get this done, then you can quite easily go with a much faster car and um, you're going to find this very easy. For me, I just want to try and do it in a car that is in keeping with the race now. Uh, very often on these videos I've chosen a really quick car and a few people have mentioned that so I'm just trying to use a car that's a little bit more in keeping. Oh, a bit of a slide through there, just upsetting the balance of the car with the uh, gears there, choice of gears. You can see as soon as you go into the second gear, if you haven't got the car straight, that back end is going to come round as the front dives. On that occasion, I just slowed it down, left it in third gear, and you can see the car so much more balanced. Same here, just leaving it in third gear, braking early through the corner. Just be careful through this one. Very, very easy to go too quickly through there, but we want to try and carry as much speed as we can down the straight. We're in second place now at the end of the first lap, but we are seven seconds behind the car in front. I'm going to brake nice and early for this one. I'm going to brake when the top of the crane hits the little timer. Using the gears just to slow it down in the second. Up into third. Just second gear for this one as well. Well, I'm going to be very careful with the acceleration. Just get the throttle down when the car is straight. Uh, we've reduced the gap 
to the leader by just under five seconds as you go over that rise again on the brakes get this turned in still got a bit of a slide carrying speed through the corner as I said if you want just pause and rewind the video just to have a look at my brake and throttle inputs and also the steering or oh, just got into the wall ever so slightly there just while the car was sliding a little bit watching out for the white line just third gear through here let's go across these hatchings these little yellow lines and uh, we can see the first place car in front of us now we're on the back straight of the second lap so just about halfway through the race and we're ready in second place and chasing down the leader that's the uh, tunnel we're looking for the little yellow box it's really hard to see it's just a little bit of a glance as you go by uh, but those little yellow boxes the first of the boxes is the one that I am um, turning on slight little door rub through there and a bit of a slide as we use second gear just to brake a bit later for that corner and then try and slow the car down uh, it's probably a, a clean race bonus gone while I'm talking I just caught the side of that car on the way through there uh, to be quite honest this one if you're concentrating rather than narrating a video I think you'd be able to do this very 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 easily and get yourself that clean race bonus Again, just being very careful through here. Where are we? So we're coming up to finish lap number two. Three seconds ahead. Again, I'm just going to brake when the top of the crane reaches the lap timer. All the way down into second gear, up into third as we go through this corner. Just down into second gear because this is quite tight through here. Definitely don't need first second gear is quite nice just let it roll through the corners and just as we go over the rise we'll come down into third gear in a straight line on the brakes again just roll it through these corners and again just as you go over the top there just slow the car down turn it in oh, it just drifts a little bit wide through there I chose second gear and you just saw the back end of the car just trying to come out there. Just had to catch it into that corner as well. Where are we? We're six seconds ahead of the car behind and gaining by some considerable margin. So there's no need to absolutely throw this car around at the moment. Uh, the Viper with these tyres, with this tuning setup very very easy race again looking for that uh, first little box on the left hand side on the wall there getting it slowed down using second and then third through that corner don't go too wide just leaving it in third through here balancing the throttle and the brake oh I got a bit too deep into the wall again just chose second gear there as soon as I use second gear just unbalance the car ever so slightly great little car to do this uh, challenge in this Viper just be a little bit uh, careful on the corners get it slowed down before let it roll through the corners and then you can accelerate away and that is a very very easy win in a car that is pretty comparable to the recommended settings so we're nine seconds ahead of the mustang behind uh, the other mustang in third i did say that that mustang was a really good car for this one uh, possibly a little bit better handling than the viper but i did like that viper it's a good 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 car um, so plenty of choice and no doubt in the comments you'll post your favorite car for this one and i wouldn't be surprised if that mustang comes out on top so there we have it the FR American Challenge 550 that we did in this uh, brilliant Dodge Viper on the sports medium tyres, 
takes a little bit of getting used to. You've got to be a little bit careful and respect the car a little bit. Get the braking done before you get into the corner. Let it roll through the corners, as I was saying. And then as you get the steering wheel begins to straighten, apply the throttle gradually, building up the power and keep that car pointing in a straight line. And then you'll be able to work your way through the traffic very easy. Don't worry about getting through the cars initially. Everything all seems to like bunch up initially in uh, the early parts of the race. And then you're into a situation where you can start to overtake uh, quite a few cars, two, three cars at a time in places. You can see here already how it's bunching up. And just going to this corner, we've got the Viper overtaking that one on the inside, lined up really nicely for the Dodge there, tucked in behind the Mustang, and then we're away down the straight overtaking one, two, maybe even three cars as we head down towards the end of the tunnel. Picking up the little telephone box or whatever it was on the left hand side was quite difficult to see, but once you know where it is, it's very easy to pick it out as you go through. So anyway, this is how I did the uh, this American FR 550 challenge. I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing and I will see you on another video coming very, very soon. For now, take care. Bye bye.